Avalon Leasing Group is an aircraft leasing company. It was created last year just to secure a third round of financing to expand its fleet. Three U.S. banks have provided an extra $465 million to Avalon. It's headed up by the former boss of RBS's jet leasing division. Donald Slattery joins me now live from Dublin to tell us more about the deal. Donald, good morning. Thanks very much for joining us. Good morning, Martin. I mean, you've raised two and a half billion dollars since May last year. Is that it, or is there more capital raising in the pipeline? Well, I think uh, our current capital base of 2.5 billion provides us with um, sufficient capital to grow, certainly uh, during the course of this year, relative to our, our current commitments. We have approximately 64 aircraft on our uh, portfolio currently. Uh, our medium-term vision is to build a portfolio of about circa six uh, billion dollars, uh, which would be about 150 aircraft. Uh, the reason we're targeting that size, it gives us strategic relevance in the, in the global marketplace. So, yes, we will be raising more debt and likely more equity capital, but uh, probably in the medium term. Talk to me about the breakdown between debt and equity, because, as you say, you're raising both types of capital. W what's the breakdown so far? Well, our current uh, committed equity is $1 billion, and that has been provided by our three shareholders, uh, which are three uh, of the world's larger private equity firms, CVC, Sinvin, and Oak Hill Capital. And our current debt commitments are uh, just over $1.5 billion. Um, so we're actually quite conservatively leveraged presently. Uh, target leverage for a business of this nature, comparing with public comparisons, would be perhaps 75 debt, 25 equity. And I think we'll aim for that target in the medium term, probably by about 2012. Do, do equity investors get a fixed return? I mean, are they taking on a lot more risk? Well, our equity investors are effectively taking, you know, the equity risk and reward that any equity investor would, would seek in, in any company. Uh, they're not getting any fixed uh, coupons. Uh, they are pure equity investors. Now, you operate three types of deals. Um, one of them is sales and leaseback transactions. Can, can you name some airlines, you know, you're working with? And what's the advantage of these types of transactions? Well, first of all, we operate on a, on a global basis. That's a really important uh, element of the business that, that we undertake and to ensure we've got uh, diversification in our fleet. So we've done business in, in all of the continents of the world, in the United States, South America. We do business with the largest low-cost airline in Latin America, uh, Gaul. Uh, we've done business with uh, Air Berlin here in Europe, which is the third largest uh, low-cost carrier. Uh, we've done business in the Philippines. Uh, we've done business in India. So we're quite focused, frankly, in the emerging markets, uh, particularly Asia and Latin America, where we're seeing strong, sustainable growth, almost catch-up growth over the last 20 years. And so we're quite committed to developing our portfolio in, in those parts of the world. Uh, the sale and leaseback structure is really quite simple. The airline uh, orders the aircraft from the manufacturers and takes that risk. And then we step in to finance the aircraft at or close to the delivery of the aircraft, providing committed financing for the airline so they know that the aircraft will be paid for and will go on an operating lease with the airline. And what we're seeing is, you know, the continued growth of the leasing sector because airlines are now more focused on their operating costs and are less interested, frankly, in taking on residual risk of aircraft. They see themselves as operators rather than owners of aircraft. Dodal, I've got to ask you a, a political question, if I may finally. You're obviously based in Dublin. We know what's happening with the political situation uh, in Ireland right now. Just a quick sort of double-pronged question. I mean, how's it affecting business, if at all? And, and, and what do you make of the, the, the mess that the political system seems to be in right now? Well, I mean, our business is, is a global business. The, the reason that... Um, Ireland and indeed Dublin has become a, a centre of excellence for aircraft finance is primarily driven through two or three key criteria. Um, the first is the network of people, human capital that exists in Dublin um, and it, that has its legacy in GPA which was at one time the largest aircraft leasing company in the world. Uh, the second is our global uh, network of, of withholding tax treaties uh, 
which makes it very efficient to run a global aircraft business from Dublin. And third, which is obviously quite important to us, is the 12.5% corporate tax rate. So we see Dublin and Ireland being a very sustainable base for the aircraft leasing sector uh, in general and Avalon specifically uh, as we build the business out. Uh, in terms of the political and financial situation in Ireland, it doesn't really uh, impact our business because, you know, we are operating on, on, on the global okay. marketplace. Um, so uh, we're more driven by the, the quality of people that exist in the market here Donald, to support our business. Thanks for chatting to us today and good luck to Donald Slattery there, the Thank Chief you. Executive Officer of Avalon Leasing Group in Dublin.